Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know how to make your online fingerprint based attendance system without having any knowledge about database, about SQL or without having your own website. Yes, you can make your own online attendance system without having your own website. So in this video, I will let you know the easiest way for making this. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. Now slowly JLCPCB is becoming the most trusted brand for PCB manufacturing because of its low cost and faster service. You can get the PCBs from as low as $2 from JLCPCB. Now recently they also started the new PCB A service in which you will not only get the PCB but you will also get all your SMD components already shouldered on the PCB. And the good news is that till 29th of December, you will get the PCB assembly service free. That means you just need to pay for PCB and the SMT components while the assembly shouldering everything will be free of course till 29th of December. Now to order your own PCB A from the LC PCB, you not only need to upload the Gerber file, but you also need to provide the BOM file and the CPL file as well. Now if you want me to make a separate video on how to order PCBA from JLCPCB or how the PCBA looks like, do let me know in the comments of this video. If I get majority of comments for this video, then I will definitely make a specific, a dedicated video on this PCBA service by JLCPCB. So let's start with this video. So for making this project, you will need one fingerprint sensor and an ESP32 board. And the connections of these two components are something like this. Now to use this fingerprint sensor on the ESP32 board using Arduino IDE, you need to install this library from Adafruit which says Adafruit fingerprint sensor library. Uh, I will leave the link for this library in the description. I already installed this library on my Arduino IDE. Now first step is to enroll our fingerprints inside this sensor. Yes, this sensor has an inbuilt memory which can store up to 128 unique fingerprint data, right? So first of all, let's enroll my fingerprints into this sensor and for that, you need to go to the files, into examples, then into Adafruit fingerprint sensor library and onto this enroll example code. Now in this code, you need to make very little changes to make this fingerprint sensor communicate with this ESP32 board by the serial 2 or the hardware serial 2 pins of this uh, ESP32. For that, we need to include the library called hardware serial.h, okay. Then uh, below that, we'll first of all comment this line of software serial and here just mention serial 2. Okay, that's it. So this is all you need to do the changes in the uh, example code. Okay, so now let me select the right board and port and click on this upload button. We need to press and hold this boot button uh, as to confirm that ESP32 is in boot mode. So the code is successfully uploaded. Now let's just open the serial monitor and see this in action. Uh, let us press the reset button. Okay, so the code started which says it have fruit fingerprint sensor enrollment. Now we need to type the ID from 1 to 127 to you know enroll our fingerprint to that dedicated ID. So first I will type ID 1 to say my first fingerprint to ID 1. It is waiting for the finger. Let us press, uh, pre uh, place the finger here. Okay, image taken. Remove finger. Okay, we need to place the same finger again. Image taken and yeah. The ID, uh, the thumb, my fingerprint of this thumb is stored into the ID 1 of the sensor. Now let's just store another fingerprint into different ID. Let's just type ID, let's take an example of 11, okay. So I'll type 11 here and press enter. I'll place my, this finger here. The image taken, remove finger. Place that finger again, okay. Image taken and uh, fingerprints didn't match, okay. Let's just try it again, 11, enter. Here finger, image taken, remove finger, again then image taken, per print matched, okay. So second uh, finger print is stored in the ID 11. So let's just uh, uh, keep it two fingerprints for this example. Now what we need to test is, we will test another example code in which uh, we will be able to know that can this fingerprint sensor recognize both this finger individually with different ID. So for that one example is already provided by the company which says fingerprint. So here is the example. Now uh, here also we need to make that small changes for hardware serial communication. So I will make that changes quickly. Okay, so changes are made successfully. Let us upload this code on this board. Uh, press and hold this boot button. 
Okay, so second code is successfully uploaded. Let us open the serial monitor and press this reset button. Okay, so it says Adafruit finger detect test. Now let us place this thumb and let's see what happens. Okay, it says found ID 1 with a confidence of 97%. So this says how accurate this finger with the, uh, with the fingerprint data already stored in the database. So it is 97% accurate. Let us place this finger, uh, first finger here. Okay, I need to press it harder. Okay, it says found ID 11 with the confidence of 108%. So yeah, this uh, sensor is perfectly recognizing this both fingers. Now let us press another finger whose data is not stored yet. Okay, so it's not recognizing that finger. Okay, now let us place this thumb again. Okay, found ID 1 with a confidence of 108. So yes, this sensor is perfectly recognizing the unique fingerprints with the unique ID. Now the last step for this project comes is to upload this fingerprint data to the cloud, okay, without having our own website, of course. And for making this, I will be using my most, most favorite service till date, which is IFTTT. Yes, with the, using IFTTT, this project is really very simple and very interesting to make. So let's just go to the IFTTT application. So this is the application called IFTTT, which is available for both Android and iOS. So you can download it and the link for downloading this app is available in the description of this video. So click on this get more button and click on if this, then that. So for this, we'll be using the service called webhooks. So we'll type webhooks here. Okay, here is the webhook. And click on receive a web request. Now here, type the event name as fingerprint. Now this is a variable. You can type any event name according to your choice. But I will specifically type uh, fingerprint, which is more easier to recognize. Okay. Okay, click on this create trigger button. Now click on that. Okay. Uh, here search for the service called google sheets yes we will be storing all our fingerprint data into the google sheets uh, now here we'll click on add a row to spreadsheet and before that we need to add our google account here so click on this add button here you need to provide your google account because all the fingerprint data will be saved to your google drive yes in all the data will be saved in the google sheet format inside your google drive so you can monitor all the attendance on the go so here i will type my email id and the password now click on this allow button to give ifttt and access to your google drive okay now here you need to provide some data just like the spreadsheet name so here i will write the spreadsheet name as attendance okay now here is the format of how the google sheet will be created with the different rows the first row will be occurred at so this will save the time on which the fingerprint was uh, you know detected event name which is of course the event name which we have you know created before that is the fingerprint then value 1 value 2 and value 3 will be stored now what are these value i will let you know uh, as soon as we move on to the code of this project okay and this sheet will be saved into ifttt into maker webhooks into event name so this path will be created on your Google Drive and the sheet will be stored automatically. Now click on this create action button. So this is all you need to do on the IFTT application side. Now the last step of this project comes is to code for this project. So let's move on to the Arduino game. So here is the code for this project which I already written and here you need to make a small changes to make it compatible with your ESP32 board as well. So here you first of all you need to write the event name which in my case is fingerprint. In your case it may be different okay. So you need to change this uh, here. Now this is the key which is unique for unique webhook accounts. Now to find your unique webhooks key you need to go to this website and click on this documentation button so this is the key for your account just copy this and paste this key inside this code here okay so this is your unique key moving ahead with this code so here you need to provide the set name and password of your router to make our ESP32 board talk to internet moving ahead with the code then here you can see there is one condition which says if fingerprint ID is 1 give the name as Sachin and if fingerprint ID is 11 give the name as Joy I made this condition just to make our attendance system looks better so attendance system will not only store the id of the fingerprint but it will also store the name of that particular id as well so yeah i have assigned a particular name for a particular id now what happens in the code is let's take an example that fingerprint is recognized with the id 1 so it will first of all assign the name and id number if the confidence is greater than 60 then 
uh, it will make an IFTTT request. Now, what is happening in the IFTTT request? Let's just have a look. So here is the IFTTT request code. So first of all, it will connect to the server, which is maker.iftt.com, which is already mentioned here. Then it will request one link with a unique event name with a unique key. Along with that, it will also send the values like name and ID. As we already seen in the Google Sheet that we are making a sheet with a row like occurred at, which is a timestamp. Then we are mentioning the fingerprint, which is the event name. Then we are uh, mentioning the value one, two, and three, and that value are assigned here. So value one is assigned with the name, value two is assigned with the ID, and value three I haven't mentioned because it is what it was of no use for me. But you can also mention value three, value four as well accordingly. So as soon as I pre uh, place the thumb. The fingerprint ID and the name, which is Sachin, will be stored onto the Google Sheet. Yes, so this is what happens in the code. So this is the code. Now let us upload it and see everything in action. Okay, so it's done uploading. Let us open the serial monitor and uh, let us set the bot rate first. Okay, press this reset button. Okay, it says Adafruit fingerprint test. It is connecting to the Wi-Fi and it's already connected to the Wi-Fi. Let us try and placing the finger. So I'll place this thumb here. Okay, attendance marked for Sachin connecting to the IFTTD.com and congratulations, you have, you have fired the fingerprint event. So yeah, my attendance with the name Sachin is marked to the Google Sheet. Let's just confirm that. Now to confirm that, I will go to my Google Drive and as you know, there will be a folder called IFTTD created inside your Google Drive. So yeah, here is the IFTTD folder. I'll go inside that. Yeah, Maker Web Hooks, fingerprint. And yes, the attendance sheet is already created. Let's see if the data is stored or not. Yes, on December 9, 2019, I'll just uh, expand this tab. Okay, or at 3.14 p.m. fingerprint event was occurred and Sachin and the name of that person was Sachin and ID was one. Let's just place, an, uh, let's just place another finger with ID 11. Okay, as you can see on December 9, 3 16 p.m. fingerprint event was occurred, joy was detected and the ID was 11. So likewise, you can create your own attendance system which is real time, which is over internet without having our own website. Isn't this super duper duper amazing? If yes, do click that like button right now and show me that you love this project. Comment down your thoughts, your suggestion, your feedback regarding this project and this video. And I am damn sure that you must have loved this example or must have loved this project. So yeah, ending this video here. Subscribe my channel if you want to see more such amazing IoT electronics related projects. Other than projects, I used to make a variety of videos in this magical field of electronics. So just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.